Hello and welcome to the Beck & Co Show, where we are talking kingdom conversations and getting questions answered. Today we want to talk about um, Jesus' purpose for love. Yep. So when we read, you know, in, in the scripture that, you know, God so loved the world, he sent Jesus here, so he, Jesus was this love, he became, you know, he, he became love, and he came here to love us, so that way we could see the Father's love. Mm -hmm. And so that's what, so Jesus was sent here to be this physical organism to show how much God loves us. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was his, his purpose. And then Jesus, he, that's why everybody that he came in contact with loved him, obviously, except for the religious spirits mm -hmm. during that time. But even some of them loved Jesus mm -hmm. because Nicodemus. their love, Nicodemus, like his love, you know, even later on, some of the scribes and things like that and, and the Sadducees or you know, Pharisees, they ended up being saved. Mm -hmm. But he, everywhere he went, people loved him because he showed the Father's love. So the first place in Scripture that love is mentioned is in Genesis. And it's that love for a father, a, a father's love for a son. Mm -hmm. You know, God says, Ab Abram, go and offer up your son. Your Abraham, go offer up your son as a sacrifice. And so here you have the first place be your son in whom you love. Mm -hmm. So it's right here, you have this at the beginning of Genesis, this father's love. And God shows us when he sent how much, you know, Jesus here to show us how much he loves us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, these, these are, they're, they're not rehearsed. These are, they're conversations and we sit here and we continually have these, you know, these talks, conversations in our house. And like the Lord was like, well, people need to hear this. Mm -hmm. They need to hear these conversations that you're having, like, because they turn into questions or we start, we ask each other questions. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we will go to the Bible. We start, the Holy Spirit speaks to us all differently. And so whatever the Holy Spirit is giving us, we, we speak these out. And he's like, he's like, people need to hear this. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been many shows and, you know, we're not some big, massive show and everything's mm -hmm. rehearsed and we're, yeah, the only thing that was rehearsed was our trailer because, hey, we're, you know, we want to get a couple, a couple points across. <laughs> so, but uh, we're just talking about mm -hmm. whatever comes to mind, whatever he gives us. Yeah. And we're always going to go back to the Word of God mm -hmm. so that way we're not sitting here and veering off track and saying something that we're not supposed to. Yeah, we're not These giving our opinions yeah. on things. When we talk to you about, you know, Jesus' love, his, the purpose for love, and, and where love, where we first see love, we were giving you scripture. So we're never going to give you an opinion that we can't back up. And that's just like with anything with the ministry, we never tell you something, never lead you in a direction that is not biblically backed up. So Abraham, when, when, you know, the first place love was mentioned was Genesis 22. Mm -hmm. And then you go all the way to where, you know, John was talking about his, the, his love. God so loved the world that he sent his son. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be in John 3. So if in those places, like after you hear like these conversations that we're talking about, like, hey, go there and look at these things too. We can sit here, we can teach, we can talk, we can preach it to you, but unless you put in the work and you go and you look at these things, so that way the Holy Spirit, the, the Lord can just and you know minister to you in your own way. We all come from different places, we all come from different backgrounds, our testimonies are very different. It could be different. And so when when we, you hear these, go and look it up yourself. Like and so that way, like he's gonna he might reveal something to you. Actually, that's how it works. As soon as you put in this act, this this work of, of this doing it yourself, he then reveals things to you. 
he might make you break down and start crying because you're going to see this love mm -hmm. of the father for his, you're his child. Mm -hmm. And he can reveal that to you. You'll just start breaking down bawling. But it's the same thing with, with, Dan, with Daniel, like how we've talked about. You know, they were, oh, no, we're going to serve. Is it Daniel? You have to keep going. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't I'm really good at saying that. I, I, Tell me the story. Okay. I want you know if you're right. So, he, they were all like, no, whoever his God is, that's who we want to worship. Yeah, Daniel was one. Okay. Daniel and Joseph. Okay. So two is we'll just say Daniel and Joseph. So, it's the same. They were drawn in by what they saw. They were drawn in by what they heard. And then they go, wait a second. I want to know that God. Mm -hmm. And that's how it should be with any, with our kingdom conversation, with your kingdom conversation that you have with somebody else. It should be, wait a second. I heard Michael and Joanna talk about this and it drew me in and I want to know more. And then the love that they're talking about with the father, how the father loves them, how they see the father's love throughout the world, throughout scripture, I want to know that love. Mm -hmm. And so it's, that's what revelation is supposed, it's supposed to draw us in. We have this light bulb moment and we're like, hold on a second. I want to know more. Mm -hmm. And just like what with Daniel in, in the book of Daniel, you have my shack, your shack and a bungalow. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> but uh, what they, 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 once again, like when they when they were saved from the fiery furnace, mm -hmm. it was like, who is your God mm -hmm. who just saved you from that? Mm -hmm. I, I want to know this God. Mm -hmm. I'm that's it. You know what? I'm making a decree right now. Let's change us. We need to serve this mm -hmm. God. Yeah. But the but it took them. It took these kings, these people, in, especially in the workplace, because that's where it happened. You know, they were advisors to the king, these influential people. And as once they seen their dedication, how much they love their God, that he, you know, they would say, it's like, you know, the Lord will save us, but even if he doesn't, we still love him. Mm -hmm. He loves us no matter what we go through. Mm -hmm. And then once they see the effects of their faith, of love, of love mm -hmm. that they just, it changed them. Yeah. And so, yeah, so Jesus' purpose for love, the Father's purpose mm -hmm. for love, brought to the earth through Jesus. Mm -hmm. But even before that, in Old Testament, we see it time after time after time that it was the love that drew people in. Yep. Jesus, or God sent Jesus, and then Jesus sent the disciples, or you say sent the church. Mm -hmm. And if, here's the thing, if Jesus is love, and if Jesus is the head of the church, then we should be showing Jesus' love. Mm -hmm. Because we are his body. Our love should not be different than Our his. Our love should not be different than the Lord's. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, we pray that this conversation has blessed you, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow.